right, guys. Welcome on back to TK's Garage. Today's video, we're getting directly into it. The Ram. Sales are down 20%. Nobody's buying these trucks. Now, part of that reason is uh, the Hurricane hasn't had the best track record to date. It's had a ton of problems, um, which we've documented in, in detail here. Head gaskets, water pumps, thermostats, just, just, just won't, computers aren't working, they won't start. They're just been a disaster. And when the consumer looks at this and goes, I could buy one of these, right? And people do like the interiors of the Rams, my, myself included. Or I can go get a tried and true V8 from GM and either GMC or Chevy, or I can go get one of those Fords, you know, where they uh, put their hand up in the air and squat, you know, one of those. Um, they could do that. They could go buy one of those. Sure. You could go get an F-150 um, with Eco Trash, I mean Eco Boost, um, or the 5.0. You, you could do that. That is, that is a viable, realistic option. So why are they going to come buy the Ram that while they might like how it looks and like the interior, they know it's going to break down consistently. Well, it's looking like Stellantis has heard the call or they just paid attention to the news and they saw who uh, the new president is coming in in January. And uh, they've also heard all of the rhetoric about the EPA is done, emission standards are out of here, the EV mandate is over. And now they said, let's go back to making money while we can do it. So the news is Ram is looking at putting a V8 back in their trucks. Now, this isn't the first time that's happened. You had Rams back in the day that had the 4.7 and the 5.7. So they had the Magnum 4.7 and the Hemi 5.7. From what my executive sources are saying is they may just package, because they're still making, they still have 5.7s, right? They were still making the 5.7 for the Durango. They may just package the 5.7 back up and start dropping them uh, in these uh, Rams. Now, one of the interesting things that I heard was they might come with no MDS. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's a, a system that basically shuts off some of the cylinders when you're at highway speeds. GM calls it act, active fuel management or displacement on demand. Um, and that's what MDS does. Now, for me, it's why I like manuals when I buy my Dodges because they don't come with that crap. But... Um, you can also delete it on your automatic gas versions. But not having it at all? Well, I guess Stellantis is thinking, well, if they're not going to... if it when the, when the next administration comes in, if this actually happens and they, and they cut the balls off the EPA and they drastically dr reduce, like go back to 1980 level emission standards, I think you could see Stellantis drop that 5.7 Hemi with no MDS on it. I think it's an actual viable thing. Right now, just putting a 5.7, even if it has MDS in it, I'm, I'm all for it. I understand. I've seen the comparison. I already know what the comments are going to say. TK, have you seen the hurricane? It smokes the 5.7 Hemi. Mm. Yes. I've seen the comments. I've seen the comparisons. I have. The 3.0 Hurricane is so much smoother than the Hemi TK. Mm. I don't care how smooth it is. If I want some smooth shit, I'll drive the BMW. If I want some smooth shit, you know, I get a Cadillac that's not all uh, performance jacked up like mine. I get a truck to be a truck. I don't need it to be a Lexus. I need it to have power when I pull, when I'm towing something. Oh, TK, the Herbert King can tow. Yeah. It can also blow a head gasket, stick a thermostat, or blow a water pump. I'm not interested. Now, when, the, when Stellantis wisen up, and they're not going to do it because they want to be able to sell the parts, when they wisen up and they take that Hurricane engine 
and it's all metal, and you get rid of all that plastic crap or aftermarket companies start making metal impeller, metal water pumps, uh, metal thermostat, how, all that other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm interested. But the way that that hurricane is built right now, hell no. I don't want anything to do with that. And I'm saying that as somebody who has fixed their own BMWs for the last 15 years, the parts that fail on my cars, and I have some classics, the E39s, the E38s, are the plastic parts, not the metal ones. I have an E38 740IL that has over 300,000 miles on it. Has never needed timing chain guides, nothing. Why? Because I consistently change my oil. I stay on top of my maintenance, one. Two, uh, even if it did, I'd just pull the motor and just do the job. It's not worth it. You could put another, yeah, I don't care. You could put another engine in it, don't care. So until Stellantis does beef up that hurricane and make it bulletproof, which they won't, nobody wants it. People are excited about another Hemi or a 5.7 going in there. And it instantly brings people back to buying those trucks. They instantly get back that 20% market share that they lost just by putting a V8 in these trucks. And here's the thing. They don't even have to use the 5.7. They could put 6.4 liter Hemis in these Rams, in the 1500. They fit. They could do it. It's nothing new. Silverados do it with the 6.2 instead of the 5.3. So they could drop the 6.4 in there. Why not? But more than likely, it's if, if they haven't completely disassembled and stopped making the 5.7s, it's cheaper for them to just start cranking out five sevens again and putting five sevens in those ramps. But I digress. I, I leave the question to you. What do you guys think about the news about these uh, these leaks that the ram may bring back a V8 option alongside the Hurricane? They're not getting rid of the Hurricane engine. That's here to stay. i love to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already, and you know what time it is, as always, stay petty, my friends.